Dan. And I'm Nathan. Today we're going to be talking about API keys. In the last video, if you recall, we had a, a data frame full of cities and, and prices of iPhone 5s's. Um, and what, essentially what we want to do here is, is uh, since we're going to eventually want to put these cities on a map, we need to get lat longs for those cities. Um, and so we're going to, to do that, we're going to use the Google API uh, system. Um, specifically the Google Maps API. So let's go make a key and store it in our vault behind us. All right, let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull up console.developers.google.com. It may ask you to sign in. I'm, I'm already signed in here. If you don't already have a project established, um, Google will probably uh, prompt you to start one. So here I'm just going to click uh, Create Project. Um, I don't. What should we call this one? Um, it doesn't. You just give um, it a project name. Doesn't make too big of a difference. Um, maybe goat's milk. <laughs> goat's milk. There you have it, folks. Okay, goat's milk. One four four nine zero two. We're going to create that, and it's just going to take a couple of minutes um, uh, to to get that created. Um, Once it's created, it'll drop you into the APIs key manager As and it. from here we can just jump right on down into credentials on the left so yeah right over here on the left you can see credentials we'll click on that and with a new project we of course don't have any credentials yet so we're going to create a new credential scroll down to the bottom create credentials um, and what we want is an api key in this case so we'll go ahead and click on that it's going to create one um, this is automatically created for you um, and then you can just copy this along, and then we're going to store it inside of the environmental variables so that in case you need it in some public code or anything, it's not just publicly visible. Yeah, so go ahead and pull up a terminal. Um, the, the way to do this in a temporary way is just to type in export um, the name of the, of the environmental variable. So in this case, we'll just call it uh, API key. And set that equal to, and I'll just copy and paste um, that API key that Google put pasted to my clipboard. Um, one thing, you do need to get rid of the space between the equal sign and the key. You can go ahead and hit enter. Um, we can check to make sure that worked by just doing a little simple echo. Echo dollar sign API key. And there it, it uh, the standard output is what I input. Um, so in the way we access this in Python um, is pretty simple. We use the OS library. Just a little import OS. <clears throat> so import OS. OS. And then an OS dot environmental environ. And then you pass API. in uh, the name of your key. API key. And sure enough. And hit enter. We can see we have access to it. And there it is. Um, so moving forward, we'll use this as our key inside of accessing Google's APIs to find some latitude and longitude of all the cities. Join us next time. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to hit subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.